Cause I'm proud to be an American When at least I know I'm free Wait, Sean, do you even know what an American is? Actually, Ryan, I don't. Come with me. I'll show you something crazy. Ryan, it's just your car. It's not just my car. It's a time machine. Holy Liberty Bell. Holy Liberty Bell. Holy Liberty Bell. Come on, let's get in. On. Are these to protect my eyes from time and space? No. They just make you look cooler. Uh, that baby. When this baby hits 35 miles an hour, you're gonna see some serious patriotism. Whose house is this? Frederick Douglass. Hello there, Frederick Douglass. How are you doing today? Who are you, boys, and what's that crazy contraption? My friend here, Mr. Sean Sachs, how are you? Hello, man. He does not know what it means to be an American. Could you please explain to him your views on being an American? Well, young man, have you read my speech? Well, no, I have not. All right, Mr. Saxton. They asked me to write a speech and give a speech about what it was to be an American to a free black man, okay? Now, America is full of hypocrisy. America is based off of equality and justice. <laughs> Did you know that in Virginia, a black man can be charged to death with over 72 crimes and a white man only two crimes? Now that doesn't sound very equal to me. So, Mr. Douglas, if you don't mind my asking, how do you feel like the immigrants have influenced America as it is today? Oh, well, Mr. Saxon, take the African Americans for, for a fact. We provided America with new food, new music, new religions, and you take all the other immigrants and mix their cultures together, and we just made America into one big melting pot. Thank you, Mr. Douglas. No problem. Young man, Mr. Douglas, you really cleared up what an American is to me. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good time, boys. Thank you. See you later. Be safe. You know, Mr. Douglas really had a point about the melting pot. I mean, with the Mexican Americans and the Asian Americans and African Americans, even our culture has really just evolved. That is very true. But now I'm going to show you someone else that should open up your eyes to more things about America. Hey, Ryan, whose house is this now? Well, Sean, it is Jean de Crotevois' house. I have never heard of him. Let's go. Hello! Jean de Crossavois! Get out of my house! Hello! Hello! Oh, hello! What are you boys doing here? We just came to ask you a couple questions, Mr. Crossavois. Oh, we oui, leave! Oui. So, uh, Mr. Crossavois, how do you feel the increasing immigrant population is influencing how America is today? Oh, well, I feel that, like, since there's so many immigrants in America now, that they influence us a lot more and have a better understanding and appreciate people from foreign countries and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I agree. Well, Mr. Crescois, thanks for all the information. My pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Oh, all right. You boys want any baguettes or, uh, you know, croissants? No, thank you. We're good. Oh, okay. All right. Good day to you. Goodbye. Hey, don't litter. What is it, Sean? Yeah. This is a diary entry from a Native American. Oh, no way. Yeah, dude. He's talking about how unfair all the white people were back then. He said that, like, they let them in to their town and they gave them food, and then they just multiplied, brought more, and t eventually took all their land. This is terrible. Wow. Did you know about all this? I did. It's a terrible time in American history. This is awful. I know. Hold on a second. I gotta check the flux capacitor and make sure we can get back. Oh, what is this? Wait a second. The Declaration of Independence? Why do you have that? Oh, it must have just been from the last time I took a trip to the past. What really is the Declaration of Independence? Well, Sean, it is when the United States declared that it was going to be separate from Britain. Thomas Jefferson to justify why they were splitting from 
Britain. Is it like important to our history? It is very important to our history. Well, Sean, did you learn anything about what it means to be an American? Why, right, yes I did actually. I learned that to be an American, you have to come from many different places, from France, Africa, Europe, any country really. You can have many different beliefs, you can have a different style of food, you can have different opinions about America for that matter. It's just that you have a sense of freedom, and I'm thinking for the trip, so yeah, no problem. Now let's go back to the future! Woo! Ah, it's good to be home. Well, Sean, did you learn anything from our trip? I did, Ryan. I mean, you know what, dude? I really owe you one. Yeah, no problem, man. Peace out.